Hello, uh, welcome to this presentation. Well, I want to deal with the form one mathematics. All right, so as you may be aware, uh, that the government of the Republic of Zambia through the Ministry of Education has uh, launched a new curriculum, all right? The implication is that um, subjects have been uh, realigned, okay? And maths is one of them. So from one, we have got mathematics one and mathematics two. So in this presentation, I will deal with the first topic in mathematics one. So the first topic is, um, As you can see here, numbers, okay. Numbers, then you will deal with classification of numbers, right? Okay, so we're talking about numbers. So we have classification. of numbers. Okay, so numbers are classified in so many different ways, all right? Such as we are saying the following a sum of the the numbers that we need to deal with all right um we have um, natural numbers uh, we have um, whole numbers we have um Integers, then uh, we have prime numbers, then we also have even numbers. We have odd numbers. We have uh, rational numbers. Next, we have irrational numbers. Then we have the real numbers, we also have composite numbers among others, All right? Composite numbers. So in this presentation, um, we're just going to deal with the A uh, few numbers such as natural, whole numbers, uh, integers, and prime numbers. Okay, so we start with the natural numbers. Okay, what are natural numbers? Okay. All right, now. For us to understand what these numbers are, let's look at this 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 situation. Suppose I have dots here. These dots. Then we said, how many dots are here? Right. You are going to say <clears throat> we have one, two, three, 
for five dots. One, two, three, four, five. So there are five dots, all right? Now, when counting, you, you, you realize that we started with the one, all right? Each time we are counting, we always start with one. And such numbers are called the natural numbers. Okay. So we are saying by natural numbers, we mean, um, so definition, these are counting, counting numbers. All right. Um, this implies that the symbol is that. So N will, will start from one, two, three, four, five, up to positive infinity. So these are our natural numbers. Okay. Then we have what we are calling four numbers. So four numbers in essence are natural numbers, but we start with a zero. So we are saying by definition, these are natural numbers. starting with a zero. So what do we mean? We can have a zero, one, two, three, four, five. So because we've started from zero and we have natural numbers, these numbers are referred to as whole numbers. They are referred to as whole numbers. The next set of numbers that we may, we may need to look at is what we call integers. All right? Integers. By definition, we are saying uh, integers um, set, what we say, a set of both. negative and positive numbers or natural numbers, including a zero, including a, a zero, this is a set. So this will imply that we have got this set, so we have negative infinity, negative three, negative two, negative one, zero, one, two, three, up to infinity. This represents a set of integers. If you want, you can represent this by a number line, all right? So we have zero here, one, two, three, up to positive infinity, negative one, negative two, negative three, up to positive infinity. So you can see that uh, you can have negative, you can have um, negative integers and positive integers. All right. Next, we can also discuss prime numbers. Prime numbers. 
prime numbers. So, are we able to think of any number which will have two factors? That is the number you're considering or the number under discussion and one. For example, two, what are the two numbers that can divide into two or three? We only have one and two, all right? You may look at T3. You have one and three. You look at five. You have one and five. How about one? One only has one factor. So this one does not qualify to be a, a prime number because it only has one factor. So a prime fact, uh, a prime number should have two factors, one and the number under consideration. If you look at the next one, let's say seven. Seven has got one and seven as its factors. How about nine? Nine has got uh, these factors. One, three, and nine itself. Therefore, nine is not a prime number, right? Okay, we can look at 11. 11 as one and 11. So 11 is a prime number. We can look at 13. One and 13 itself, a prime number. How about 15? Is 15 a prime number? You can pause this video and give it a try. All right. 15 has got these factors. 1, 3, 5, 15. It has these factors, four of them. Therefore, 15 is not a prime number. Okay, from these illustrations, we can now put up the definition of a prime number. So from what we've discussed, we can therefore conclude that a prime number by definition, a prime number is a number or any number with two factors, two factors. That is one and the number under consideration. The number under consideration. Direction. E.g. Two, three, five, seven, eleven up so on and so forth. All right. So that's what we mean. And we've explained why one is not a prime number. All right. In case you are asked, say, justify why one is not a prime number. The reason is simple. It does not satisfy the definition of a prime number. Well, a prime number needs to have two factors. But one only has one factor, which is a, a one itself. Therefore, the uh, one is not a prime number. All right. That's where we end for this presentation. All right. So if you're in form one, your child is in form one, please you can contact us. We'll be able to, to help them. Contact us on uh, the following numbers. On one. Zero nine seven eight fifty six fifty eight seventy six. This is Mr. Piri. Number two zero nine seven nine sixty seven thirty eight zero nine. Mr. Bondo. All right. Also subscribe to our channels. Come on, Piri. JM. Um.
Caomba, Bon. Till next time. Bye-bye.